hello. Welcome to another movie review of mine. Afterwards, please take the chance to visit my website, www.thecviewer.com, where I have thousands of movie reviews, 60 plus lists of best films per genre, yearly rank lists with top 5 per category going back to 1914, and dozens of miscellaneous lists including TV shows, actor profiles, and top 10 films per actor. The link can be found below. Today we are reviewing Witness, 1985. Gave this movie a rating of 8 and was viewed in 2004 and 2020. Quick, name a Hollywood picture that features the Amish culture. If you said Witness, that's right, because it's the only one you can think of. In fact, it was primarily responsible for jumpstarting tourism in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, which currently has the largest Amish settlement in the world. Having visited there once, it's an enjoyable experience, and I recommend the food and drink, which are all homemade. Back to Witness. It's a well-made picture that's part policier and part Amish. There's no disrespect shown to these people, which is gratifying to see. Of course, a culture clash exists, which is impossible to avoid. The look of some scenes is similar to the 17th century paintings by Dutch masters, resulting in a Best Cinematography Oscar nomination for John Seale. What I love is the foreign vibe thanks to an Australian director by the name of Peter Weir. It has several great aspects. One is Lucas Haas to serve the inciting incident. Two is the barn raising event. Three is the ending, which has to be appreciated because of the cultural differences, forcing the cross starred lovers to go back to their separate worlds. Harrison Ford is terrific, earning the sole Oscar nomination of his career, although he deserved it more for Raiders of the Lost Ark. The reason is that it marked the first time ever he broke away from the action-adventure and sci-fi genres, although it's a familiar role by now. Kelly McGillis continues to be an underrated actress of the 80s. Jan Rubies is excellent as well, playing her character's father. Lucas Haas is perfect as the little Amish boy. Danny Glover is something else because he plays a bad guy, which is a rare undertaking for him. The ballad-turned-actor Alexander Godunov, who trained Mikhail Berishovic, is perfectly cast. And of course, everybody knows him as Carl in Die Hard. Somewhere in the mix is Viggo Mortensen, who takes his screen debut. What makes the Amish different, if you ask? Well, they choose not to embrace technology, with the exception of a few, which is only out of necessity and electricity. Hence, everything they do is strictly manual. Education stops after 8th grade and vocational training in agriculture, craftsmanship, or other professions like nursing begins. Their life is ruled by the Ornung, an oral manual that compromises the rules of the church. Failure to follow any of them is to risk being shunned forever. However, they're followed back in after true repentance. Interestingly, the teenagers are entitled to Rumspringa at age 16 as they can go out in the world to see whether or not they prefer to be a part of it but 90% of them come back anyway. Descended from the original 200 families that first settled in America, 98% of the Amish in the world live in communities that are scattered throughout Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, and New York, among others. An Amish family averages seven children, and therefore, they have no need to recruit outsiders for a conversion. They wear plain clothes without buttons or zippers. Barn raising is a big community event for them, but has become less common nowadays. All in all, Witness is a fascinating movie because of the Amish culture, and it doesn't hurt one bit that Harrison Ford is the headline star. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. Don't forget to visit my website, www.thescenviewer.com.